Okay. So what we are going to talk about, uh, like if anybody is using Windows 10 operating system, so how they can get this Windows 11. Basically, uh, let me just see. There will be the some requirements like uh, you must have the minimum 4 GB of the RAM in your laptop, in your uh, computer, or um, you have minimum disk requirement that is uh, near about 100 GB, right? So this is the minimum requirement that is you need to install these Windows 11 inside your uh, normal operating inside your uh, laptop, inside your PC. So how you can get the updates and all the things, what you have to do. First of all, you have to go inside the settings, right? How you can go it, how you can go. Just click on the start button. There will be the settings option and there you have to go inside the update and security, right? After come after clicking on it. So as you can see this, I, uh, I already applied for this Windows 11, and uh, this is this is going to show you that check the hardware requirements that is required after that, right? So I got the update that is Windows uh, regarding the Windows 10 version H2, sorry 21 H1, right? So after this H1, I will get this update that is 21 H2. Then I'll uh, then this PC is all automatically convert into the Windows 11. Then I'll get the Windows 11 update automatically. So how you can get it and what are the main things that is you have? First of all, if you come inside this, um, let me tell you, just click on the update and security, right? And after that, come inside the Windows Insider program, right? After coming inside this, what you have to do over here, you have to choose, like, just read over there your PC does not meet the minimum hardware requirement for the P Windows 11. Your channel option will be limited. Means, see, we have the two kinds of uh, channel limitation option that is release and uh, two more options that is, um, I'm, I'm not getting these two options, but we have the two options as well. The release is the last option that is um, like, over on the first platform, you can say that we have the three platforms right where you will get these windows 11 update the first one this is um minimal i think right and the second one that is you have uh these kind of things right so the release that the release is the third option right so once you click on that so here we have uh, like you will get these these kind of options as well right so how you can get it let me tell you if you didn't log in with your uh, Microsoft account, so what you have to do, you have to first of all click on the sign up and then you have to sign in over there, right? Let me just check it. Let me just change that. See, if you didn't log in, so let me just do one thing, unlink. Let me do the unlink so I can get you the detailed information. Now, after that, what you have to do, you have to click on the link of Windows Insider account. Right. After that, what you have the account and uh, these these personal your uh, your uh, Windows account that is you have you have to click on that and if you do not have any account, so you can go on the sign up, and then make the account and after that just log in over there. Right. So this will pick you the by default settings of your hardware requirement that you have. Right. So I'm using Windows 10 Pro. So the Windows 10 Pro is the uh, very highest uh, version of the any Windows, right? So you will get these Windows 10 Pro in uh, update in uh, after getting after after launching all the kind of uh, version of the Windows 11, right? So this was all about the Windows 11. If you wanted to check your hardware information, so how you can check it after that? Just click on the update and security and there you will get these hardware requirements right see after like after after um after con after config configuring this windows insider program what you have to do you have to take the restart of your pc right after taking restart you will get the update inside that right where you will get that just, just click on the windows update and there you will get the updates regarding your pc right 
so after getting this update um i think everyone get this update regarding the windows 11 right if you're uh, like if you have to check your hardware requirement for this particular windows 11 like what is the minimum hardware requirement that is we have so these kind of things that you must you you can check it from there right so the processor which is you required one gigahertz right and the ram memory which is required 4 gb of the minimum ram memory and storage that is 64 gb largest storage device right and if we talk about the system from where so these kind of from where that you will get it in that way. that is uefi secure boot capable and these are the things right now this is the most important part of it that is ppm what is this the trusted platform module right where you can uh, check your hardware requirement of your pc right what is whatever the hardware requirement that is you have to get the update regarding windows 11 you can click on that and you can check these was uh, this, this hardware requirement over there. So I have to check my hardware requirement to get the update regarding this Windows 11. Now, see this trusted feed module uh, must be enabled, then you can get this Windows 11 update. Otherwise you will not get any, any kind of update regarding the Windows 11, right? So make sure that this TPM will be enabled over there. If this TPM is not enabled, so how you can enable it if we talk about, so just click on Windows key plus R, right? And there you will, what you have to do, you have to type tpm.msc, right? You have to type tpm.msc to check your, uh, this TPM module that TPM is enabled or not, right? So after clicking on that, just click on OK. Let it open. As you can see, this status of this TPM that the TPM is ready for you, right? So if this TPM, if uh, in this in like uh, 99 in the 99 of the person, 99 percent in the PCs, this P, this TPM is already enabled right? So you don't need to enable it. If in case this TPM is not enabled, so how you can enable it? You have to go inside your um, bio settings, right? How you can go it? Just you have to click on this power button. And after that, you have to take the restart, right? So uh, like once this booting process will be coming up, then you have to press the after button or the delete button, right? It depends upon the uh, basically your uh, laptop models that is you have right in the some laptops you will you have you will get the access uh regarding these bios that is pressing by f12 delete or f2 or the escape right escape keys so these are the functions that you can get it and over there you will get these options like let me show you where this tpm option that you will get EPM in BIOS. If you have any kind of laptop, so suppose that this is my Dell laptop, right? So inside the Dell laptop, uh, these are the things that is we have. Let me tell you where we can get the TPM option. So over there, I think that picture is not clear, but this TPM executor, uh, this option you will get it, and you have to enable. Uh, you have to you have to go inside these bio settings, and then you have to enable these features, right? So these are the things that is we have regarding the Windows 11, right? After enabling this, you can get the easily information. Like, see, this is how we can get it where we have to go inside the inside the security we have to go and then uh, inside the security we have the TPM 2.0 security right so you have to turn on this TPM by clicking on that right after after doing changes on these uh, you have to press the F10 and then the F12 button after that right so this is how you can enable the TPM 
inside your laptop okay after that you will get these these um this windows 11 update inside your updates right inside your windows updates so this is how you can get these uh, information regarding the windows 11 and all right let me show you the my settings uh, like what is the my settings that is i have and which windows version i'm using right so that would be very clear Just click on the about and there you will get the option. Whatever the edition that is you are using regarding this Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, right? Whatever the windows that you have, you will get each and every information over there, right? So this is how you can check the all kind of information and all the things, right? So as you can see this where I'm not, I'm not getting these uh, Windows 11 update that is, I have the processor that is 2.30 gigahertz right but the requirement that is you have one point something gigahertz let me tell you one gigahertz also faster than two or more right so that's why i'm not getting it but i'll get it i'll get it as soon as possible when the windows 11 all the all the all the versions will launch so i'll get these updates so this is how guys we can install the windows 11 and all that